And we are recording. This is Atari Living Sacrifice. Continuing on. I'm probably almost done with the first episode Watch of step, King's kid. Quest. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the Queen died. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. All right. And she's off. And she's rebuilt the part of the bridge. Can we skip through this part? It was a little boring. Yeah. Boring teachers, patience. We don't need to go that way. Let's just walk. There we go. Keep out. Under construction. So we are continuing part two of the King's Quest. Episode one. If you're enjoying this... Caution. Bees and distress. If you're enjoying these episodes, by all means, hit the like button. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. So, how did you find an eye? It was a hideous beast lurking inside. It's a bunny. Ouch! A rude. Oh. Seems like a waste of money. So do I... I don't have my axe anymore. They took my axe. Shame. These could have been carved into really nice jack-o'-lanterns. All right, Doc. What do you think we should do? <laughs> oh, hey! Oh! Evil squirrel thingies! That pumpkin was housing too many squirrels for my taste. What do we do here? Pick, pick, pickety pick. I have to get these all picked before I can go home. Leave me be so I can finish my work. What is he picking? I don't want to talk to him. I want to... Whoa, hey. Pick the farfan berries and farfan put them berries. in the basket. It puts the farfan berries in the basket. Can I give him money? Strict decrees forbid us from accepting bribes. Oddly, Addendum 2 lets us accept peanut butter sandwiches in times of distress. Good to know. Peanut butter sandwiches it shall be then. It's the killer squirrels with his sharp precious bangs. The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrel. <laughs> yeah, I bet he did. How vicious are these beasts? Get out of here! Scram! Shoot! Beat it! What is she carrying? A basket? A glowing basket? Oh, thank God for the girl <gasps> saving me. These dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. Hmm. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? Sure. I can try. 
Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches. Patches. She's calling me Patches. I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. I thought I had five coins. Hmm. Let's review the little sapling again. Nothing. I'm assuming she's in here. That would be the sword. That would be the bread basket. That would be the magician. What do I want to do? I think the magician would be the most fun. Ooh. <sighs> You're on the delivery, boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, horse feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He appears to be a compassionate gentleman, but he is clearly out of his comfort zone. He is one who needs to think more with his brain and less with his heart. Oh. If he is going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my religion? <laughs> no, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true, we're judges. <laughs> we're this is my judging phase. <laughs> we're really, judges. I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Mm. Well, we've shifted our core business to potions, curiosities, and the occasional practical joke. <laughs> Uh, we gladly share our wisdom for free, but everything else starts at one shiny gold coin. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. All right. So I can... Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. What is this over here? It looked like some type of broken lantern. What are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kind of like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will mm. cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. That sounds fun. I walk up the stairs. It reminds me of our son. <sighs> I always miss him this time. I can't go over there anymore. He just, dreamed yeah. of becoming a knight, too. I wish he would visit. Let's go look at the, uh... The blacksmith shop real quick. Before we make any rash decisions. Hey, Graham. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor. Whoa. My bed nowhere to be found. Hey, girl. Can you believe that? What type Keep of yard steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. But one of the her bed is in that place where the dragon was. Back away from the crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. I don't think I'm going to need that. Don't touch that, Graham, or you might be the one losing an eye. What is that? What is that? Don't touch that, Graham, or you might be the one losing an eye. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Mrs. Crumbler. Okay, so I guess I have to go with the potions. Let's see if there's anything in here first. Okay, his mustache. Hello there, and good afternoon, if I do say so myself. Sometimes you roll the dice, and they all come up wenty. Even though the bridges are out, and my supplier has gone missing, 
I sold yesterday's bread when I wasn't even here. <laughs> I wish more people were that trustworthy around Daventry. Now, you fine strapping lad, how may I help you? How may he help us? Was he trying to set the record for the world's biggest pie? Let's see here. The sign read, ask us about our free sample. That looks yummy. I'm hungry now. Oh, custard! Oh, just like my mom used I'm to make. I'm always hungry. Oh, I'm saving that pie for a special occasion. Sorry. Like special, like next week after it's gone bad. Figure out what you want. Hmm. What's today special? Oh well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. Star shroom. A delicacy big enough to feed an army, or someone with the appetite of an army. I've eaten it in one sitting before. Well, don't judge. Mm. No, we no judge. No would trust a skinny baker, now would they? Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered. And I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ah, uh, tell you uh. what. If you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one, one gold, gold coin. coin. Let's see here. Got any free samples? Oh, today only. I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. However, I ran out of bitter root. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. So can I just have it the strudel that's grows already been made? Big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want. <laughs> all right. That's not a delicious, chocolate, hideous beast side cake I smell cooking, is it? Looking for an eye, are you? Well, it must be that time of year again. Frankly, I can't tolerate it. The Fays weren't raised that way. It's archaic! So much fighting and needless killing! Compassion comes from the heart, you know? As does food! If you want to get to the heart of any problem, all you need is pie! Hi. You look like a compassionate fella, uh, like myself. And I think we're going to get along right as raisins. Uh, please, don't take part in the violence. Hmm. So, where can I find the ingredients for that giant pie? I'll also need one gold coin. Mm -hmm. But which ingredient? Hmm. The starberries. They are yellow. And uh, tend to grow high on trees in sunny areas. The sugar shrooms. They are pink and only grow in cold, dark areas. Never mind. Hmm. Good day. Don't forget to follow your heart. And your tummy. Follow your tummy. All right, so what do I start with? Is there really only one? It's probably a bad idea. No. I want to close it. Yes, she wants me to keep it closed. Alright. Let's go... to the magical place. Let's see if they'll take my money this time. Still can't go up there. Ooh, what are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kind of like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. So how do I buy it? It looked like some type of broken lantern. I get that part. Is there nothing it I can actually buy? <sighs> what 
wisdom can we share today? The wisdom of the ancients. Do you have any eyes of hideous beasts in stock? An eye, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, your name, please? Uh, Graham? It's Graham. Cracker. Last name? Graham. <laughs> they don't care. Graham with a G, I assume. I don't see your name on this list. Oh, you did pre-order, right? Uh, pre-order? Oh, we got yes, the DLC. This time of year, our eyes fly off the shelves. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're out of luck. Our eyes are completely on back order. If you'd like, we can put you on the waiting list for our next shipment. When will that arrive? We get shipments every eight months. Uh, I'm afraid that won't work. Well, hang on a sec. It's Graham, right? May we bend your ear for a bit? Bend sure. Away. You need an eye for the tournament, I'm guessing. Yes, I have always dreamed of becoming a knight. Why? With Daventry's addendums this and proclamations that, it seems a frightful business. Do you have any idea how many royal guards we lose to that voracious moat monster? Well, moat monster. my father was a knight, and my grandfather was a knight, and my great-grandfather... Well, he was a dentist, but his father was a knight. <laughs> Basically, I come from a long line of protecting crowns. I started looking for night jobs while I was still in the academy, but once I graduated, all the opportunities had been And they up. stopped listening a long time ago. I might not ago. fit in here, but Daventry's my last shot. Oh, you'll fit in just fine. It might be too late to capture the rule-defined eye of a hideous beast, but rules will bend for those who can outsmart the rule-makers. Hmm. So, I've just got to know, what is brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration? It's not that hot, apparently. Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a fly? Oh, this? Teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's got to change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening. <laughs> uh... Oh well, oh well. Oh, the, we'll still this is a racist things. potion. While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. Good to know. Ooh, how much for that candle? Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. Someone brought it in for repair but never paid. Tell you what, if you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle, you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. Hmm. Fare thee well. May your quest need that pumpkin. be logic field. All right, so the quests are actually starting to get a little bit more in depth. So uh, I think we're gonna pause it here again. And uh, if you've been enjoying this, or even if you haven't. Even if you haven't been enjoying this, give it a big thumbs up anyway, because it costs you nothing but a click. And let us, you know, come subscribe and join us on the next one. And we will see you. This is Atari Living Sacrifice. Keep moving forward, y'all. See you on the next one.